Good morning. It's Wednesday, April 15th, and this is your distance learning lesson on Banana Day. Today for reading, again, 30 minutes. Raz Kids Epic, or your choice. Remember, I need one Raz Kids lesson and quiz from you completed by Friday. Math today, we are moving on to lesson two, and we are going to draw parallel and perpendicular lines today. How can you describe lines, rays, and line segments? Well, let's take a look at this right here. First, let's name the line segments. Do you see that there are endpoints at the end of each one? So all you need to do is look at the two letters. And so we have line segment A, B right here. And then we have line segment D, C right there. Now describe what the line segments are doing. What are those two lines doing? They're crossing, right? And in math today, we're going to call that intersecting. We have two intersecting line segments. These are the key concepts that you're going to be using today. Let's look at the top one on the left. Parallel lines. I'm sure you've heard of this before. When two lines are the same distance apart and they never meet, they will never intersect. So we have line AB and line CD that are parallel. And look at the two lines that um, there are right here in between to show that those are parallel. The second key sum concept is intersecting lines, what we just talked about on the previous slide. When the lines cross each other, they're called intersecting. And then finally, we have perpendicular lines. They are lines that actually intersect, but they intersect in such a way that they form a square corner. Do you see that right here? Um, so, and this is the symbol that you would put between them. Perp A, B, line A, B is perpendicular to line C, D. So, I want you to look at these three sets of lines and then decide how should they be labeled. Here we go. This one, the top AB and CD are parallel. The middle group of a ray and a line segment are intersecting and the bottom lines are perpendicular because they form a right angle. So let's turn to page 879 in your math sheets. Oliver was riding in the car and saw this sign. Do you suppose he was in Minnesota when he saw that sign? Looks like he probably was in Australia, right? Describe how the outlined line segments cross each other or do not cross each other. Well, when we look at this line here, and this line here, line segment, excuse me, they don't cross at all. And they're the same distance apart. So that would make them parallel line segments. In example two, describe the figure using parallel, perpendicu perpendicular, or intersecting. So let's take a look at CD line segment. And how is it, what is it doing in compared to ray a b can you tell it is intersecting isn't it now let's move on to the guided practice i am going to give you time to look at it write your answer down you can stop the video um, and then start it again so number one do you see the line segments in the racket what are they doing how can you label them Correct, that's parallel. Let's move on to number two and three. LM, line segment LM in comparison to ray JK. Um, line VW in comparison to line XY. Turn off the video, write in your answers. 
You should have got that they were intersecting for number two and parallel for number three. Let's move on. Now, for four and five, six and seven, you are to draw examples of each of these. Remember in number four that that symbol means parallel, and in number six, this means perpendicular. And then for number eight, all you need to do is circle the true statement. So stop your video, complete the rest of 881, and when you're done, then start the video again. So here we go. For number four, correcting two parallel lines, number five, intersecting, and they don't have to be intersecting just like this. These are examples for you. Number six and seven, number six and six has to be um, perpendicular with square corners. And number seven is parallel. And finally, number eight, the correct answer is line AB is perpendicular to line CD. Let's continue with page 882. I'd like you to complete 9, 10, and 11 right now. Stop the video and then you'll be able to correct. For number nine, the two streets that are parallel will be Hayes Avenue and Jefferson Street. That's two of them. Um, tell whether Hayes Avenue and Capitol Lane appear to be parallel, intersecting, or perpendicular. They are perpendicular, aren't they? Do you see where Hayes comes in here? And a Hayes and Jefferson Street. And Capitol, sorry, Capitol right here. My pen doesn't work so well, does it? Are there any streets that are intersecting but not perpendicular? Yeah, Jefferson Street, and Mayor Street both intersect, but they don't have square corners. Let's continue with 12 and 13 at the bottom of the page. See if you can answer both of these. Stop the video and start it again when you're ready to correct. If two lines are parallel, they are always the same distance apart. That is true. If two lines are parallel, they are also perpendicular? No way, because if they're parallel, they can never come together, right? And number 13, describe a real world example of when it is necessary for line segments to be parallel and when it's necessary for line segments to be perpendicular. So walls are parallel, but they're also perpendicular to the floor. That's one example. So your homework today. Page 883 to 884. When you have completed it, please take a picture of it and submit it to Seesaw or email. We will no longer be handing in packets. So the only way I'll know that if you do your work is if you submit it some way to me. Okay, so you're going to need to take a picture and submit it to me. Thank you. In your journal today, ooh, look at that. It's my favorite dessert. So label your page. Today is Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. You can write about your favorite dessert or you can write about your choice. That's banana cream pie. I had to keep bananas in it. But my example is this. My favorite dessert is pumpkin roll. I make it every Thanksgiving because my family also loves it. It is like a pumpkin cake that is very thin and rolled up with a sweet cream cheese feeling. Mmm, I can taste it now. Tell me about your favorite desserts. I'm going to read chapter 27 of Framed. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. In science today, your science activity is assigned to you on Seesaw. It's called Electrical Circuits. And you will use the T to write right in if the circuit will light or not. And so you could put in text on each of these and then click 
the green um, circle with the check mark in it to submit it to me. And if you're having difficulty remembering what makes an electrical circuit, you can always go back to Brain Pop from on Monday and rewatch electrical circuits. Mrs. Hotchkiss has suggested that you play a game today with your family. And also, Wednesdays at 11 o'clock, Mrs. Hotchkiss organizes a Zoom meeting for our class. So if you would like to participate, go to Family Announcements on Seesaw for the information you need to join the meeting today. I also gave you some information for this on our morning announcements. Today is Wednesday, so you're going to have music with Mrs. Zerke. She's asking you to listen to a song that's in a different style from what you usually listen to. What surprises you? How is it similar to your usual music? Thanks for working hard today. I enjoyed uh, our theme of bananas. I hope Jude and Carson enjoyed it also. I liked this little joke at the end. All right, who left their clothes on the floor? Okay, have a great day, and if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Thank you.